Hey there, and welcome back. So let's work in this tutorial about running in parallel. This is more running in parallel now to see the auctions than the physics involved, okay? So as you go to the case, your case directory, okay, so see that you are going to have it here, parallel, and you have two cases. So we're going to work first in this one, okay? And then we move to the other one, but it's just the other was just visualization, okay? So see that we, you have different files here. So this is to run the case, and these two are to visualize the decomposition. I'm going to show you the difference there. So pretty much what we're going to see is I'm going to show you this method, okay, to visualize, okay? There are two methods, okay? One, using the compose part, and there is an auction call cell disk, and then you can create different uh, files to open in, in Paraphone, okay? So remember, to run in parallel, so let's see first here, run solver, okay? So to run, these are the steps. Okay, you create everything we're initializing here and just go the compose bar, MPI run, MP, number of cores that you have available or subdomains, and then the name of your utility or application. Then here, minus parallel, remember always to use that, and that's all. So you have this additional dictionary, the compose part date, and here's where you see, you, you, you say the number of cores or subdomains. So this should be the same as the number of, of processors in NPI here, and that's all. So if you want to put here 40, then you will need to change here and put here 40, okay? So important, that, as I mentioned in the theory, that all utilities or most of them run in parallel. So one thing that you can do to know that when you have the, the command line there in this slides, but just to show you also, here in the readme file, you have this, okay? So if you type that, so let me go to a new window here. You get that line, you go to your source code in installation and see that when you type that, it will show you all the applications that do not run in parallel. So see here that for instance, this, these are uh, specific ones do not run in parallel. So here you have this directory called test. These are some test cases and see that they do not run in parallel because they are not including this this keyword in the header files. Okay, so see also mesh conversion, the applications to do main mesh conversion do not run in parallel, okay? Then block mesh do not run in parallel. Then you have this extra meshing application do not run in parallel and see that then you have these other applications that do not run in parallel. As you see, there are no solvers, okay, that don't run in parallel, most, most of them run in parallel. So the only section will be these two that, these are things very, very, very specific, okay? That being said, we are, now we can move and run the case. So first, let's run, let's visualize here. The one to show you is the decomposition. So the first command is when run the compose part, sell this. Okay, so this is in case that you want to visualize how things are decomposed, okay? So see that we're not running the solver. When you run the compose bar, you use cell dist. So this one is going to tell you how, <coughs> how the domain is being, uh, is being decomposed, okay? Also remember, phone info, phone info decompose bar. It will give you more information here, okay? So also will give you these actions, okay? Or you can also go the compose bar minus help, same. So let's run this first command, okay? So when you run this, run the compose bar, it's just doing the composition, okay? And see that, as you go into the zero folder, it created this new field, okay? So these are your boundary conditions, but this is new one. And here's where you can visualize the distribution, okay? So to visualize that, you go Parafone, apply, you need to access that field here, apply, and sell this. So see that this is how the utility decomposes domain. So processor three, two, one, and zero. Not necessarily the ideal one, so probably look at that what might happen here that is you have the solution going on, 
probably this processor will only work and these two will be idle and so on. So it might not be the ideal one that, that is up to you or to, to the utility or to automatically determine, determine which, are, which is the best one. But I have to say for, for our purposes, we don't need to, to think about this, okay? So different domains, so this is an easy domain, well, it, it is like this, but some more complicated domains are actually the cylinder case. So as you go about, back, back to this slide, see that it's very different in the cylinder case. Okay, so this is the easy way. The other way is the one that, remember that when you launch Paraphone, you create a file, this one, with the extension open for our phone. So the other option can be this one. You do the decomposition without using that, and then inside each processor, so when you decompose, remember that you have different directories, and it, inside each one you have a different division of the domain, but inside each one you create this file, dot phone and then you launch Paraphone and open the files now using Paraphone. Okay, so as you see this is not practical, okay, just to show you another option. The best way is to use the cell disk as you will need to create that one and also when you go here in Paraphone you will need to do the things manual now. But even you, you can create any script to open everything automatically but it's not practical. So see that you open this one and we're accessing a chomp of the domain here so and you keep going like this so imagine that you have 200 domains there so you need to do this 200 times also you can do it automatically but uh, it's better to use the, the other option okay so this is what happens so what 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 is doing this utility is that dividing the domain splitting the domain and see that the splitting is not in order so processor zero processor one two, three Okay, so it's not like we'll go 0, 1, 3, so 0, 1, 3. So it found that that was the, the best division. Also, according to the to the initialization, I guess it's taking that into account. Okay, so this is what, 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 what happens. So now we know how to visualize. We know that it's better to use all this. Not necessarily you, uh, you need to all visualize that, okay? So that is just in case that you need to, you want to know what is happening. And as it's written in the slides, is use this method. There are different methods implemented, okay? So, so you go into the source code, use it here in parallel, decompose, you have different methods, okay? And you will find the options, okay? Because different methods will take different options, okay? So the, the method that we're using here, is Scotch, doesn't ask for any additional options, okay? Additional entries, but if you use stuff like this, it will ask you for additional entries, okay? So are a little bit more tricky, so you need to give additional entries. So I stick with this cache, my best advice, or the methods, you need to compile methods, it's not compiled by default in OpenFile. So now let's run the case, okay? So we have the, initial, the, the standard case, see, boom, 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 and this is where you run. The compose part, MPI run, and that's all. But I want to show you something as well that you can run with more cores than the one that you have available in your computer. So let me put here 40. Okay, and you go here and, and put 40. You can run with no problem. So MPI is going to emulate 40 cores. However, it's going to run much slower. Okay, so see 40 cores there, and see that it's taking time to do the decomposition, and ta -ta 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 -ta, and actually gave me some some warning. Okay, this is just a warning. So see how slow it is. Super slow. Okay, so you are emulating 40 cores in four cores. Okay, so be careful. Okay, it can be done, but it's not ideal. So use the right number of cores. So now if I put there four cores. Just four cores and see that it's super fast, okay? So be careful, okay? So check in your computer how many cores you have available and then use those. So remember LS CPU and see that in my case, I have here four CPUs, okay? So you see here sockets, okay? One core per socket, so this is the one. By the way, this is a little bit different to what you will see in an, in your computers. You have a native installation because you are using a virtual machine, so it's distributed differently, but I have just four, four cores. And it will run 10 seconds, okay? So usually 
You can open the dictionaries, you will see that we have the standard minimum and maximum. Probably this is my trademark. Always I run and I put minimum and maximum of the quantities. I'm missing there alpha. Okay, you can add alpha. So as you go to control D, you have it there. And probably you can, let me put it here, alpha. And the actual name, it is phase one. Phase one, and let me put also this P are here. Okay, so we have now all the values. So now that we have the case, the solution is done. Okay, as you launch Parafon, look at what happened. Okay, you are going to access only the solution that you have in serial. You don't have what is inside processor folders. Okay, so see that you cannot advance your time folder there. You only access here alpha. Okay. So if you want to visualize your solution, you need to go to the other step, which is reconstruct part mesh, okay? That you, it's going to reconstruct the mesh. So whatever you have here, it's going to put it in serial and now you can open it using Parafone. So see what, what happens. It reconstruct, oh sorry, reconstruct part, okay? It's reconstructed the cases. So see that it's reconstructing each of the time steps that you have in the folder processor one, two, three, okay, it's putting together. So you see that this is time consuming, especially if you have large meshes, because each reconstruction can take some time, okay, some considerable amount of time. So now that you have that reconstructed, what you can do, okay, alpha, and see that now you access the time. So here you are visualizing everything Okay, after you reconstruct it. This step is optional, okay, the reconstruct par. Okay, 10 seconds. The other option, instead of reconstructing, and let's see, let me show you, I will erase all the time folders that we have in serial, but still we have the solution in, in the processors, okay? So you can go here, Parafone minus built-in, and I always recommend you to use this option, okay, always. It's much faster than the standard Parafon, and you can post-process directly the case in serial, in parallel. So see that here, case type, you can access the reconstructed, the one in serial, or the one in parallel. So just select here, apply, see that now you can access the time there. So no need to reconstruct, and also it's, it's faster. So you might say, at this point, you might wonder, what is the difference between Parafon and Parafone built-in. There is a difference in, 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 in the plugin that you, you are loading. So just to show you now, as you use the Parafone standard, this one is loading some additional plugins that you'll see that is le lets you access this information. Now, sex, sums, groups, the name of the boundary patches. So you see that you can show the, the patch names here, okay? So this plugin that is accessing this information, is a, it tends to uh, slow down the post-processing in part of you. Instead, this one is not loading that plugin. It is like using the part of your standard, okay? And by the way, you can use part of your standard. See that you do, you cannot access the, the, that information, okay? So most of the time you don't, you don't need it. Sometimes you need it. Okay, but most of the time I have to say that you don't need to access that. And also that band touches this is that you can access the case in parallel. However, you, if you want to see the name of the patches or access songs or sets or stuff like that, you cannot do it, okay? So this is it, okay? This is all related to, uh, to pad running in parallel. So from this point on, or probably also we have been doing this already, feel free to run in parallel. Remember, decompose. MPI run MP, the number of processors that it is the same number that you put in the compose part dictionary and never forget to put this keyword. You can use as we have done, uh, uh, as we have been doing so far, now redirect the output, okay, save your log files, okay, there is no problem. Uh, something else that I want to mention that from time to time you will see in some dictionaries that I use this option, force. Okay, if you type help, we'll show you what is this, okay. So remove, so basically it's removing the existing processors and decomposing again, okay? So sometimes you want to do some, 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 some tags or if you want to, to erase this one, so it will be like RN, okay, these processors. Okay, but if you want to save this step, 
just go decompose part force and it will erase that and it will decompose again okay so you do it like this if you want to do it manually first you need to erase and then decompose part that's all so thank you thank you very much for your attention and see you in next video bye